The race for mayor of the city of Elmira is heating up. A former Elmira City Council member announced today he's running against Mayor John Tonello as a write-in candidate. News Channel 36's Stephanie Esposito is live in the studio with the story. Stephanie, who is the competition? Andrea Patsy DiCara was an Elmira City Councilman for six years in the 90s, but he says he's running for mayor of Elmira now simply to enhance the democratic process. I'm very, very surprised with the four-year terms coming up and the condition of the way the city is with the deficit and the public safety and all that nobody, has, nobody would ever be Republican or independent stepped forward and at least gave Mayor Tonello a, 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 somebody to run against. DiChiara says the deficit would be his first priority. Not only get the deficit down to zero, but build up an account, what would you call the general fund balance, just basically the city savings account so then we can use it for projects that come up. Our budget that we passed this year is the first uh, budget in a long time that, that didn't have deficit spending. DiChiara says the city needs a housing court to deal with rampant building code violations. Tonello says it's already in place. Now, we started a housing court in working with Judge Ramick and Judge Forrest um, actually earlier this year because of that, uh, that need. And of course both weighed in on crime. There's been talk about hiring more police officers. I, I think that's a crazy idea because that's only going to obviously cost more money. I agree that police aren't the be-all and end-all, but you have to be able to have a police presence that's equal to the task. And right now, uh, I think the last thing we want to do is cut police. Uh, Patsy DiChara is a registered Democrat like Mayor Tonello, but got on the ballot as a write-in. I asked Mayor Tonello what he thought about having a little competition. He says the more the merrier. Live in the studio, Stephanie Esposito, News Channel 36.